practical care. Um, as you know, we're kind of in the sort of big planning stages. Um, this is sort of, I'm just going to quickly, very quickly show you how to set up the Servo I, just in case, again, we may be very, very depleted of critical care nurses. We may have ward nurses assisting us to look after these patients as well. So it may be left up to you to potentially set up this ventilator. Um, so I'm just going to very quickly show you how to do this. On the very back, there is an on switch. If you're down at NCCU, it's sometimes hidden behind a little panel as well. Um, you can just switch that on and that disappears and it goes up through its setup phase. Please make sure your oxygen and your air is plugged in at the back. Um, this is normally into the wall. Um, you do need oxygen and air for it to work appropriately. Otherwise, it's going to alarm at you that you've only got 100% oxygen or 21% air. Um, it will then go through a little very quick self checkup. Um, just from the physical point of view, you've got an inspiratory port here and an expiratory port here. Um, Johnny's going to go through all of the different filters we'll be using. So there is a filter in here as well that we won't be changing routinely. Um, and the batteries are on the side, so it will last off the um, system as well. So you can, uh, it lasts about 180 minutes, both batteries are about 90 minutes. Um, so when you first turn it on, it will say, do you want to do a pre-use check? We've got a little test tube you'll either find in some of the drawers in JBF, um, and they're scattered about in NCCU, normally in the Gina Dollard suite. So if you can't find one, please do come and find us, and we'll find one for you. And we're literally just going to say yes, and literally it's as simple as follow the on-screen instructions. I hope. Um, so it's going to go through its first little system of checks. It's going to go through here, connect the test tube, which we've done. Dan, can you take a look and see what the test tube is connected to? Yeah, okay. Are we good? Can you see? Yeah, sorry, thank you. Yeah, that's right. Um, for Johnny, the, you were saying about the tidal volumes, an ideal body weight between 6 to 8 mils per kilo. There is on most ventilators, obviously the ones that are normally in ITU, we've already got laminated sheets for that as well. So if you know the patient's height, you can work out what their normal tidal volumes are going to be as well. Are we going to be measuring patients? Because um, on one of the protocols that's often around for the ether, it's measure patient after intubation. Is that what we're going to be doing, or are we going to be zero? Oh, the length is what we normally do in ITU, and we'll normally do that. The nurse, if you ask the nurses, we'll tell you what their height is normally. Okay. So just to say, if, if it's possible, mm. then yes. If it's not possible, uh, on that ready record now, we're recommending you start with lower than you think. Mm. If you're seeing a 500, it's too big. Um, you're looking at 300s, maybe a 400 for a big man. Okay, so we're looking just as a starting place. And your spiritual rates might be slightly higher than you expect, but they're in the range 14 to kind of 22. Just wait for Christmas. Do we need to ventilate the patients? Wave them? Yeah, we do. We can wave from the bed. Yeah, the, oh, so the, the, the vents don't? No, no, the beds. The beds. Yeah. Um, yeah, we can do, if they work. Yeah. Oh, don't worry about that. Yeah. Um, Once that's saying up, guys, um, any query or confirmed coronavirus patients, I'm sure Johnny's probably already said this, but we're only going to be using dry circuits um, with the query or confirmed. If they are query or confirmed in critical care as well, we will be wearing full PPE. So that is um, FFP3 mask, goggles, um, long sleeve gown and gloves, and that will remain on whilst you're in the room. And hopefully we'll send the donning and doffing routinely as this carries on doing its thing. Do you want to feel a bit of time while it's doing this little thing, Johnny? Um, sure. So this actually has little, it says inspiration and expiration on it, so it's just hooked up like this, just not, oh, that's not <laughs> um, the, When we're going to put the tubing on, of course the patient, you want to clean the air that the patient has breathed out. And because the valves open and close, the expiratory gas is going to go through this port, excuse me, this, this port that says ex expiration on it. Um, and that's the one that's going to have our second filter on it. So Dan's going to hook it up now. So inspiratory port doesn't have anything on it, so obviously that's going to the patient. Um, we're then going to have our tube at the top bit here, and then there's another bacterial filter for that one there as well. Um, once you've attached your system on, um, it just says literally connect patient circuit and block the Y piece. This is the Y piece. Ordinarily when you're first setting up, you won't have that on. Um, there will be a red cap on there, so you don't need to hold your hand over it really tight, and I'm going to hope this works. Hopefully. Oh, come on. <laughs> yes. Oh. 
you know, this is very similar to what our new anaesthetic machines are going to do every morning with pre-flight checks. But um, there's one last question the ventilator will ask you before you start to ventilate the patient or start setting up your ventilator, and it's going to be: Do you wish to compensate for the compressible volume? Always select yes, never select no. So it's basically taking into account how long this tube is, because obviously we use different tubes. We've got vent. Um, for fish pacals that are a lot longer, we've got the MRI circuits again, which are a lot longer. So if you ever change the circuit or anything like that, make sure you always say yes to the um, taking into account the compressible volume. And then press OK, and you're pretty much ready and raring to go. Delete the patient data, that's fine. Um, and to double check that's been done, there's a previous check and the patient circuit test done at the bottom bit here. Happy with the rest of it, Johnny? Brilliant. Yeah, that's yeah. great.